Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial will be in Adobe Illustrator. So we're gonna learn how to create a logo, a 3D logo. And I'm gonna use for this a type and a single letter, like A. So you can use a, I don't know, a shape that you created with pen tool or everything because we're gonna use 3d expand and bevel so let me show you the font that I'm using for, for this it's Privat 4 Italic Pro okay so I'm going to effect 3d expand and bevel I'm gonna preview this front and for this I'm gonna use only the X axis and something like 25 percent degree 25 degree and the perspective to 100 maybe yeah okay I'm gonna click OK to this okay and I'm going to object expand the points I think I I miss a step or no okay now we go into right click and ungroup a couple of times okay and if you press Ctrl and E on the, your keyboard, you're gonna see that we have a 3D logo. But it's black, so we can see it. So let's. I mean, I want to unite this shape right here. So I'm going to select it and go to Pathfinder Unite. And the same with this one here. Oh, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. You have to, if you have two shapes, like one here and one here and one here, select one, hold shift, and select the other, Pathfinder, and unite. Zoom back. Okay. So, again, Control E, you have the 3D logo. So let's add some gradient to it. Mm, I'm gonna use this palette here. Cooler is the name. If you don't have it, you go to Window Expansion Cooler. And just tip orange. For this, I'm gonna use this color, red and yellow. So I'm going to click on the shape that I want to add the gradient, go to the gradient, by the way, if you, after you select the red and yellow, press this button right here, so you can add the color to your gradient tool right here. So, uh, I'm going to use a radial gradient and I'm going to use this color and this color okay gradient tool right click and group okay this should be great Add the gradient to the other, so, uh, other parts like this one, and for this one I'm gonna add one more here, and will be much brighter. Oh. 
Okay. Let's see. I think a, a white one will be great here. Nah. Something like this. Okay. Great. So, not this one. Where should I put it? Put it right here. This will be a shiny looking logo. And I have uh, one more right here at the gradient. And right click, ungroup. I'm just drop, uh, I drop the color, the gradient. Let's see. Okay, this is great. I like it. So because <coughs> we said before I start that this will be a shiny logo, I'm gonna add some lights here and here. Let me change the gradient to this one. Okay. Now I'm going to use the pen tool and create a shape like this one. Mm, yeah. And we're going to use the white. So I'm going to need only two color white and white white and white and one will be the opacity to zero and linear gradient so let's okay this this will be great okay now we have to select the front the front shape and the, f the shape we just created and let me see the shortcut I mean let me show you you just go to edit copy edit paste paste in place but I'm not gonna use this one I'm just gonna select both and hold alt on the keyboard and uh, right arrow one time and uh, then take the don't use the alt anymore and let me this is too hard <laughs> so I'm gonna explain you because I don't know to explain you this. It's too hard for me to explain you this in English. So, edit, copy, edit, uh, paste, and it will paste here. I select this one also. I don't need it. So, select both and this one. Again, again. Oh shit. So select this one and only the front part. Edit, copy, edit, paste. And go to Pathfinder and use the divide. And ungroup them. And because we need only this part. So I'm going to take this part after I delete this one. <laughs> so delete it, take this part, I have to put it here, 
and delete the others because we don't need it. Maybe we, we can change the opacity to, I don't know, 50%. Yeah. Okay, it looks great. It's looking great, great. So, I'm gonna add a stroke to this because I want to add a shiny looking light here. So, select this one, uh, copy, edit, paste in place and flip this change the color to black because I want to see I want to see how big the stroke it is now this will this will feel great one one point will be great okay you still have it selected so go to object expand ok and select pick the eyedropper and we use the same color white and white but a hundred percent opacity and the gradient will be radial take the gradient tool right click ungroup ah, this should be okay see you see the light right here how crazy and very 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 great is looking let me select the stroke again and now select again the stroke if you don't have it selected and go to edit again cop I choose cut control Z to undo <coughs> excuse me go to edit copy edit paste in place and select the gradient tool again drag this here something like this okay and we have a light here and one here uh, all we need to do now it's only add a shadow so I am going to take the rectangular tool and create a shape like this and we have the we have to use a gradient black to black with zero opacity so black to black with zero opacity right here here this one is zero and choose the linear and move this one to 50% percent and add another another zero zero opacity right here so we're gonna have something like this with the opacity with five fifty percent let me put it here so now <laughs> click on it right click transform no rng orange and 
sent to back. Okay. Yeah. And one more right here. So I'm going to duplicate this one. Uh, click on it, edit, copy, edit, paste. And right click, again send it to back. But this one will be much, much smaller. Like this. Let's see. Wait. So, I need to change the opacity, I don't really like it. Yeah. Much better. Yep. So this is it. Let me take the type tool again and A company. A company. Let's select it. Change the color to the orange one. Like this. And this to a gray. Yes. So this is this is it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you understand my English. I don't know how to tell you, but as I told you, my English is not my native language. So I'm sorry if you don't understand. I hope you do. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, Merry Christmas and we're gonna see it in another tutorial, thank you and bye bye. Oh by the way, please subscribe, wait, leave a comment if you don't understand something I'm gonna try to replay to you, so subscribe, rate, thank you, bye bye.